Hey guys, it's Reefy here. Uh, I just wanted to talk to you today about um, the amiibos that interact with Breath of the Wild. Um, we've been having a lot of fun playing this game, um, running around, doing a bunch of things. Unfortunately, our capture card hasn't come yet, but I really wanted to make a video today about the amiibos because they do different things, bring you different items. Like I said, our capture card isn't here, so I had a ghetto rig, um, a little camera right in front of my TV screen, so please excuse the quality. But let's go ahead and jump right into it. What we want to make sure, what you want to make sure is that the amiibo um, are, amiibos are uh, activated essentially on your options menu. So they're literally the first option on your options menu. And you want to make sure that it's set to use amiibo. All right. And once you have the amiibo room, you're going to hit the L button and that'll affect make a drop spot for it. And we're gonna go ahead and use the Bobokin Amiibo. This guy drops off a bunch of meat and a chest. And he normally drops, I guess, some sort of Boko um, item as well. And some guts, sweet. Alright, so next we're going to go ahead and use uh, the Zelda amiibo, amiibo from Breath of the Wild. Alright, let's see. Looks like we got a couple herbs. A swift carrot. And an item. Next one we'll do is Archer Link. He brings forth a bunch of fish and a little bit of meat. Armored carp, armored porgy, some sort of stamina bass, and a new one. Stelfin Trout. And five bomb arrows. Alright. Next one we have Horse Rider Link. There we go. Horse Rider Link brings forth some mushrooms. Chili stream. You know, they're pretty chill, I guess. Yeah. And some ice arrows. Next, we'll use the Guardian Amiibo. He's really large. Yeah. Guardian Amiibo apparently brings out for some uh, larger items that need to be smashed. Ancient stuff. An ancient gear and an arrow. We're just gonna move this. Off to the side for a sec. Nice. Guardian Shield. Apparently, the Guardian obviously gives you Guardian items. Alright, next up we have Wind Waker Link. brings forth a bunch of fish, which I guess makes sense because Wind Waker was all on um, 
all about sailing around the Hyrulean Sea. Because Hyrule is underwater. Ah! Trousers of the Wind. Apparently, when you have use either the Super Smash Brothers Toon Link amiibo or the Wind Waker amiibo of Link, they have the ability of giving you of the wind armor set. Trousers of the wind, hat of the wind, and I'm sure some sort of shirt of the wind. There's also the ability of the 30th anniversary Link giving you a different set of clothing. Next, we have Toon Link Zelda. Let's see what she gives us. Now, you might be noticing that Zelda's seem to give you different plants, and Link's seem to give you meats. Ooh, big hearty radish. Oh, there's another hiding one over there. All right. Next, we'll do Ocarina of Time Amiibo. Again, lots of meats and an item. Ice arrows. So before I move on to the Smash Brothers series, in case you only collect Amiibos of the Link series, I just want to show you what a Poochie and maybe Pikachu amiibo do. So let's go ahead and look at them. This one's Poochie. From Yarn Yoshi. He's pretty cute. Let's see. He brought forth just a few little items. Nothing special. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at Pikachu as well. So apparently you can use multiple amiibos that are not Link amiibos um, to bring forth items. Moving on to the Smash Brothers series, next we have Zelda. There we go. So that noise you heard might have been an error in reading the amiibo. So just keep trying to get the amiibo to read. Zelda once again brings forth a bunch of herbs and spices. And in the item box, a soldier's bow with extra durability again. Next, we're going to go ahead and use the Sheik amiibo. mushrooms and an eightfold blade with extra durability you've noticed maybe that the items the weapons that come forward seem to have some sort of extra durability so that maybe they last a little bit longer um, if you've been playing the game you know that all your items seem to break pretty quickly hopefully the Weapons from the amiibos that you get will last a little bit longer than weapons you find around, out and about throughout the world. Alright. Toon Link. From the Smash Brothers series. Broadsword with critical hit bonus. Interesting. Alright, next we have Ganon Dork. No, 
Dorf. Gandorf. Gandorf? Gandork. Gandork. It's a dork. Whatever. Ugh. He gives you some rupees, which is nice. A purple rupee. Nice. So the next one I'm gonna show you is the Twilight Princess Wolf Link. Oh, and it's night out. Twilight-ish. I guess that's not nice. Um, what's interesting about him is that if you have completed the bonus stage on the Wii U on the re-release of Twilight Princess and use the Wolf Link amiibo, then, and only then, can you summon Wolf Link. His hearts will be exactly proportionate to what the, what your last save was with Wolf Link. So let's go ahead and summon him. Hopefully you had a chance to play the game, because it was fun to play it again. And there he is, looking all cool and stuff. Yeah. So let's show you what Wolf Link does, because he's pretty cool. Wolf Link will follow you around, and uh, when he's hurt, like he currently is, he'll hunt on his own. Uh, so we'll just stalk here, and he'll do it himself. There we go. Now, when you walk up, if you just let Wolf Link kind of do his thing, he'll go up and chow, chow down on whatever he killed, and heal himself. Look at him. He is a happy Wolf Link. If Wolf Link's kind of being a bother, you can Z-target him and ask him to stay, and he'll hang out there for a bit. But since we're looking for some enemies, let's have him come with us. Um, like right now, we're going to probably paraglide down. He'll teleport to the side of you, wherever you land. There he is, teleporting to the side of me. Unlike your horse. Oh, there we go. Alright, let's have him... Wolf Link will take out some enemies, slowly. help you take them down which is pretty sweet um, the only other thing that Wolfling can't do is walk into town uh, if you play Twilight Princess you know that people were scared of a wolf entering the town so I guess that kind of follows the lore if Wolfling gets a little too far away from you you can just whistle and have him come to you If there's no prey for him around, you can hold food out in front of him and he will eat it and heal himself. Last but not least, we're going to use the um, Super Smash Brothers Link Amiibo, which summons Epona. Epona is special because she only can be summoned once. Um, if she dies, she dies. And you want to register right away. Alright guys, so like I said before, you're going to want to make sure that you 
uh, register Epona right away because otherwise you're going to lose if you lose her or she dies you basically never get to call her forth again so it's a once in a game kind of deal so we have Epona um, registered now and obviously Epona has maxed out stats and max bond already and a gentle temperament it's really the best horse you can get in the game all right hopefully you enjoyed our little show of what the amiibos can do and if you did go ahead and like our video and subscribe um, we do have a bit of a contest going on we're giving away a mouth meowth plushie uh, go ahead and rewatch or watch the Switch unboxing and leave a comment there and make sure that you're subscribed to enter. Uh, thanks, guys. See you next time.